long day, I saw the Meg with both my cousins, because I, I have a lot, but my cousins, Don and Taylor. I saw it at this theater called Bowtie Cinemas, if you want to look that up, in my city. I saw it there. Uh, fair crowd. Um, their reactions were poor. They sucked. But, um, again, with my weird ratings, I give this a um, 16 out of 21. So, really, really good. I'm going to own this maybe when it comes out on DVD. <clears throat> I gave it a 20. But, certain moments... I'm just going to say this now. I'm going to spoil it a little bit. Uh, too much to spoil, but uh, this movie has so much more, you know, thrill and action. A lot more than Jaws, of course. Jaws is just mainly controversy, and I, I was thinking to myself through half the movie, Jaws, you got a competition on your hands. This, the Meg is definitely in competition with you, uh, but... 99% of, well actually, 94% of Jaws is controversy and then throw in action in the Meg. Uh, a bit of both, but there's a, a lot of throw action and, you know, um, I knew when certain moments was going to happen. And a lot of it threw me off. A lot, a lot of plot twists. No betrayals, just a lot of plot twists, and made me sad sometimes and mad. Not quite angry, but mad that certain people died. Um, but I, I will spoil like who died. So just fair warning. I'm gonna name off the bat. Um, if you haven't seen it, then click off. If you don't care or whatever and uh, have seen it, then stay. Uh, Rain Wilson, 20 minutes before the movie ends, um, he gets eaten. <laughs> so, just want to put that out there. I have the cast in front of me. <clears throat> I'm going to name off the ones that, that uh, got eaten. Rain Wilson. Um, Robert. Okay, well, The Wall. Uh, he didn't get eaten, but he died. He, he committed suicide to save his friends. Toshi. Uh, Dr. Heller. Um, little girl doesn't die. Just saying. She does not die. So I will, like I said, I will own this on DVD. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. I would, I might see it in IMAX. I might be a bit severe. Because I jumped a couple times. Uh, there were a couple moments where I was like, Come on, dude. Why? No. Why? Stop it. Because <laughs> uh, there's a scene where Jason Statham, Statham is in the water. Like, trying to put a tracker on the, the Meg. And you're in his perspective. So he's on the water and the camera's zooming in in the water. On and off, on and off, and um, there's some really, really neat shots. The cinematography in this movie, uh, incredible job. The director's applause, applause, good, good job. Uh, I do want to see this movie again just to soak everything in. Uh, definitely one of my favorite movies. I gave it a 20. But certain people died. Um, 
that I had to give it a 16, just lowered it just because of that and some che cheesy stuff, you know. Um, <clears throat> but pretty good competition for Jaws. Pretty good. I, I see what I see what you did there. Um, uh, trying to think, uh, but some really really neat shots. Um, definitely go see this. Definitely a worth seeing movie. It's not it's not cheesy, but some shots were. Um, I had a, I had a ton of fun with this. Um, it, it, it's it's a fun movie to watch with friends because. Uh, you're kind of on a roller coaster a bit, and some people have given reviews while well, they're right. You're definitely on a roller coaster. Um, so there are certain moments. The controversy, uh, <clears throat> you know, the talk with the gang happens about, uh, well, the action starts 30 minutes in the movie. So, you know, that that's understandable. Um, but certain things threw me off. Like I thought the little girl was going to approach the Meg first, and then his mom, her mom, um, witnesses the octopus, and then the Meg. But it's it's reversed. She witnesses the octopus, and then the Meg, or. There's actually two Megs. Uh, the second Meg shows up uh, towards uh, the end of the movie, in a way. Um, which uh, was a plot twist, because I thought there was only one Meg, but apparently there was two. And the, the second Meg's approach is uh, uh, quite... Um, one second. It's quite. Uh, out of like reach. Like I was not expecting it. It was very ironic. Um, I think that's my review for the Meg so far. Uh, I had a lot, a lot of fun with it. Um, Jason Statham, <laughs> nice celeb. It's a little bit of romance too, but uh, now Christopher Robin saw his mom. It was her birthday uh, yesterday. I uh, made her in the car, but besides the point, um, she's 51. But um, I saw Christopher Robin with her at West Tower. Uh, if you want to look that one up, cool. Uh, but yeah, West Tower. Um, Christopher Robin is a. Uh, it, it was alright. It's it, it had, you know, very touching moments and uh, threw me back, you know, as a child because I grew up with it. I watched it over and over again. Uh, I owned the, the Tigger movie on VHS and played the game on and on and on. <laughs> um, I give it about a nine. There was a ton of cringeworthy moments, but it had a very moderate story to tell. I, I liked the story. Um, it's very interesting. Um, but the, the main characters, um, you know, Rue's mom, Rabbit, and Al had actually pretty decent screenplay. Pretty good screenplay, screen time. They were in it. A lot more than I thought because I heard from other reviewers that all three of them were weren't going to be in it much but they had a decent amount of screenplay now the main characters are obviously Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Tigger, Tigger and Eeyore um, but I wouldn't I don't think I would own this on DVD I would see it in IMAX I would see it in IMAX but those are my reviews. Uh, so like share, but like I said, uh, the Meg, a lot of fun to watch. Christopher Robin, and you still see it, but it's it was alright. Um, seeing them as CGI uh, was quite interesting. Uh, there's parts where um, there's like fog 
in the forest and it's just poo and just for Robin and that was <coughs> interesting. Uh, my head hurts because, you know, I saw them both in one day, back to back. But, um, Christopher Robin has some touching moments, um, but yeah, uh, that, that, the tree <laughs> that they would go through to the other dimension, that was, that was neat. Um, that was my reviews, um, hopefully you try to see Skyscraper Teen Times Go to the movies and, uh, the, the Nun is coming up pretty soon, but, uh, I said, check out the Meg, definitely. Um, it's not too scary. There's definitely a couple jump scares, but you don't have to worry about that till like an hour in the movie. Um, by the way, the the like Chinese people, you know, the splashing in them in the tubes that doesn't happen till like towards the very end of the movie. So that was interesting. Um, Christopher Robin had. A, like I said, a average plot. It was, I give it a nine, you know, a nine, almost an eight, but it was fair for what it was. It was fair. So, um, so much there. Hope you enjoyed my reviews.